This is a, a, a game that just came out recently. Um, it's called Wings of Glory. It is a computerized version of a board slash miniatures game that has been around for, I don't know, probably almost 20 years. It has a pretty good following. Um, but what they've done is they've taken it and pretty, pretty accurately um, moved it over to a um, a computer version. I got it from Steam um, online for Windows. Uh, it There's a number of, there's a few people out there who have done a complete uh, review of it. I'm not going to do that today, but what I wanted to do is talk about one thing, and that is that in the game, you can have solo missions, you can have challenges, you can play online, but there's not really anything in here that has to do with a, uh, a campaign version. And so what I've done is I've created my own campaign version, and I want to just show you how I did that. So what I've what I've done here, um, start off, I created a little spreadsheet, and um, I basically what there is there's columns here for a series of of missions, and I started off with uh, like five. I planned out a series of five missions ahead of time. And there are different uh, scenarios of the different types that the game supports. You can have dogfights or bombing runs or strafing missions or recon missions. So I scheduled one of each and then an extra dogfight at the end. And I left a space here to keep score. So at the end of each mission, the game will come back and tell you how many points you scored and how many points your opponent scored. And they're usually numbers like, you know, three to two or minus one to four or whatever. And I you can type those in here and then get a running total. And so the goal for is to you know score more points than your opponent over these missions and then i gave myself uh they have the game one limitation the game currently has is there's only four different types of airplanes uh, for each side so for the allies i went ahead and gave myself two airframes uh, of each of the four kinds so i've only got eight total airframes and as they get damaged or as they get destroyed i will cross them off the list and as they take damage I would mark it as it has damage and that plane would not be available for the next day's mission and it would have to be it would be repaired so anytime a plane gets to, if a plane survives a mission but it's been damaged i'll mark it as damaged and then i've got a list of pilots i just you know created uh, six fictitious pilot names and uh, start off with you can in the game you can have uh, points that you can apply toward abilities to make your pilot better and they're ace points. So basically what I thought I would do is every time my one of my pilots gets a victory, I'll give him some ace points and keep track of that here. And then of course, if a pilot crashes and gets killed, I'll cross him off the list. And so I've got that spreadsheet to, to take care of that. Okay, so um, basically then what I'm gonna do is come in here to the game and click on local play and solo play and then pick the type of scenario that I had in my spreadsheet for the day's mission. It lets you set some of the settings. I have a player count, airplane count unlocks. You can pick whichever number of airplanes you want uh, for your particular mission based on the situation that you currently have. I had the AI normal, rule standard, map size. I've got huge so that I could have three planes per side um, and have lots of room to maneuver especially on some of the missions that are coming up that would be like strafing missions and whatnot. And then you can pick your three planes and pick the three from your, uh, your setup that you wanted, you know, off of your, off your spreadsheet. I had figure probably give the central powers the same number of airplanes. So in, uh, and basically, uh, let's see, I probably wanted to use uh, fighter planes for the dogfight. So maybe not use the two seater go ahead and pick, uh, I don't know, maybe an extra camel. Now I've got both of my camels set up here, but oh well. And uh, the enemy, let's see, which airplanes? Well, the, uh, the Germans, well, I don't really want to use a D7 and for, for, to fight against, and the Roland is a two-seater, so let's go ahead and stick with, uh, um, I'll do two of the Fokkers because they have a lot of those so then basically then you can just go in and start up the mission if you wanted to set up your your pilot as an ace 
you could you could do a custom ace or standard ace and, and give your pilot some abilities which I would do later uh, if I have a pilot that becomes an ace and then basically you can just go into the game itself and play out the scenario uh, at the end of the game it'll tell you the score make sure that you um, uh, keep track of which airframes are damaged or which pilots are killed uh, during the battle and so basically that's it so even though this game doesn't come with a scenario or a, a campaign version you can i think pretty easily design your own campaign and set up your own campaign i hope they add a campaign and i hope in the future they add uh, more airframes more airplanes to the mix so that's it